What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube order? It's BD. Let's back in another video. And guys, welcome back to another video. For you guys today, I thought. In the BD show today, I thought, why not do something a little bit different in the BD show? And that is me reacting to people's weird, crazy addictions in the world. So, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, what I do, guys? Sorry about that. What I do, guys, is. There's, there's like four or five people in this video that have basically got weird, strange addictions that they have. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll go through each person, um, I will, um, run out of time. So I'll start with, with this guy first, and then once he's finished his story, I'll then pause the video and I'll then tell you guys about what, what my thoughts are and what my... F and, and what I thought about, you know, is strange addiction. So anyway, let's play with the um, video, shall we? I'm Nathaniel. I'm 27 years old, and I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Now, guys, sorry, sorry, just to pause there, but how the fuck can you kiss a car? Like, I can understand that everyone likes their car. But you don't fucking love it. That, you don't fucking love it that much. But you give it a kiss and a fucking kiss the steering wheel. They just fucking run. Hey baby, handsome man. What the hell? It's called his car, handsome, handsome man. Fuck me. What's the world coming to? Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. It was love at first sight. His body and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. And I just felt an instant connection. Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't find true love until he met Chase. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here and just kind of caress him down the side. My initial reaction was I was kind of shocked it was kind of weird because it was just hard to understand. Right, guys, fuck me. That is just Ron. He loves his but he loves the body. He loves the interior work. Now, guys, that guy needs help. He does. I'm sorry, but he needs he needs help. He kisses his car each morning and each night. That is just Ron. Right. Anyway, guys, the next person is a young girl. I don't quite know her age. To me, she looks about five, six years old. She does. Um, so let's play the video a, a bit and then see what her crazy addiction is. When I started collecting roaches, I only had five. But now... I right, guys, sorry to stop being in the video. She collects roaches. Cockroaches. Oh, guys, just looking at them gives me the shivers. It really does just give me the shivers looking at them. Oh, I don't like things that move. Like small things that move. Like I don't like spiders. I don't like bugs, cockroaches, worms, um, bugs, beetles. Everything small that moves, I hate. And cockroaches, fuck me. I have thousands. Oh, gosh, she's got it on her arm. She's got that on her arm. I'm pretty sure they bite, don't they? I'm pretty sure they bite. I like roaches because when they crawl my arms, they tickle me, and when I hold them, they can be real happy. Uh, I could do without them, but she really likes them, so. I. I well, she lets them crawl around in the house. Bloody hell. I absolutely don't love the cockroaches, but I can deal with them. I do have freak out moments every once in a while. Oh my god, get those! Oh my gosh, he's just dropped them everywhere. Get them all! No roaches escape, mommy! But overall, you know, I've come to accept Shelby's passions. I love air freshener. Alright guys, that was just weird. That was just really, really, really weird. Um. Right, anyway guys, this next woman, she loves everything she does. Yep, she sprays it in her mouth, she loves it. 
Now, guys, is that just fucked up, or is that just fucked up or not? She sprays air. F- she sprays air freshener in her mouth. Surely that. Surely that. Must, surely that must be so bad for her lungs. Surely. I love it. Absolutely. What I love about drinking air freshener is the taste. There is a million. She drinks air freshener. Oh Jesus. Air fresheners out there. But the one that I like is fresh linens. I've tried other scents, but I don't like them. None of them taste like they say they smell. Cinnamon is not cinnamon. Apple crisp is like dirt. I've got to have fresh linen. Guys, just washing her spray air freshener in my mouth. It's making me feel sick. I literally crave it. In the last three years, there's not a day where I've not had it. 20, 20 cans a week. Alright guys, this next person is a guy but loves to put a cast on his arms or legs. Casting is putting a cast on myself. I'm perfectly fine, perfectly healthy. I like the feeling of the cast around me. What the fuck, guys? He loves the feeling of a cast. Now, I broke my arm once I did, years ago when I was younger, and when I had to have a cast, it fucking itched really bad, it did. It was sweaty, it made it made my arm itch, but it was just horrible to where it was. I've done like two full arm casts, two full leg casts, I've done two full leg casts and an arm cast. I've put on so many different casts, it's ridiculous. Yeah, guys, what the fuck's that? If he looks like that, he's eating some kinky weird shit. What I love about casting is it just feels so amazing and so snug and so comfortable. It gives me like this high that I just can't really get any other way. My earliest memory of casting was definitely in early grade school. At about six or seven years old, I used to steal all of my parents' toilet paper and I used to wrap up my legs in toilet paper to mimic a cast. When I was 12 years old, I broke my arm rollerblading and I got my first cast. I got a lot of attention with a cast on. And uh, it's just kind of been an ongoing process ever since then to just learn as much as I can about it. I absolutely love the attention I get. I use crutches, I use a scooter, I use a wheelchair, whatever what it takes. What the fuck? And then I love going out in public and then just seeing everybody like, oh, that, that gawk look, you know, it's just amazing. All right, guys, that was fucking fucked up. All right, guys, this next woman, she's quite an old woman. She loves to get stunned by wasps. She does, yep. She enjoys the pain of being stunned by a wasp. Now, guys, I've been stunned by a wasp. I've been stunned by a wasp many, many times. I've in the past, and they fucking hurt. I sting myself on my hip, my elbow, on a finger, my ankle, my forehead, on the tip of my nose. The most I've ever given myself was between 15 and 20 in my left hip. I really love stinging myself with bees. Margaret has been addicted to bee stings for the past 10 years. Okay. Her addiction started innocently as a way to relieve her arthritis. Now guys, I did hear about sting nettles um, is good for arthritis. I can't remember, I, th- I don't know where I heard it from, but I think I might even read that online somewhere. But I, I read that um, if you get stung by sting nettles, that it will relieve your arthritis. Um, so I'm basic, I'm guessing that wasps are sort of like sting nettles, you know. But with wasps, their stings a lot more powerful. It is, but I do. I have heard that um, sting nettles are good for arthritis. In search of relief from the pain, Margaret turned to the beehives in her backyard. I had read how people have been using it to relieve certain pain symptoms. The first time that I stung myself, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. And it just got easier every time. <sighs> when I was pregnant, I used to take pieces of tissue and dip, dip them in bleach. Right, guys. Yes, this next woman is addicted to bleach. She is. Yep, she loves bleach for some reason. I don't know why. And take them like peels. But my nutritionist and doctor, they, they made me stop doing it. And, and I... I'm pretty sure putting bleach directly onto your skin will burn your skin. 
thought it was just because I was pregnant and it'll go away. Oh my gosh, she's eating it. She's licking bleach. Vice fucks but up. Gloria's bleach addiction didn't go away, and she's even taken it a step further. Every morning, Gloria now adds bleach to her bath water. What the f what the actual motherfucker? She adds bleach to her bath. She soaks in bleach. Every time I take a shower and or a bath, I have to use bleach. I have to use it. I first run the water, then I take the bleach and I pour it in a tub. It's not. That has got to be so dangerous. A certain amount that I use, I just pour until I feel like it's enough. My name is Keisha, and I'm expecting my first child. Oh yes, guys, this next woman, I believe she's addicted to um, MP. Yep. Dirty nappies, I think she's, if I remember, I think she's addicted to. She likes to, she likes to spell nappies for some reason. Yep, I don't know why. And I love sniffing and chewing dirty diapers. She chews dirty diapers. It has to have pee in it. Oh, it God, no. It has to have pee in it. No. The heavier ones that have more pee, smell better. Do you know what, guys? I can't even watch this bit, I can't, because he's making me physically ill. Just look at her sniffing it. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. This one's soft. I love it. It just tastes amazing. I have one while I'm cooking in the kitchen. I have one in my drawers. I have one while I'm sleeping. I keep some in my trunk. I keep some in my pocketbook. No, for real. This is good. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, continue. I have a bag. What the fuck? That was just... Oh, God, that was horrible. Why would you want to eat and lick a dirty nappy? Well, guys, this next person is a young boy. i say he's probably about, what, seven or eight? He's addicted to f fans for some reason. Yep. He likes to have fans around him for some reason. I don't know why, but he does. So let's play, BM, let's play shall we, and see what... Happens. Uh, 200 fans. What the fuck? Why would you want 200 fans in your bedroom? What the hell? I have pedestal fans. This is a Holmes pedestal fan. And the reason I bought it? These blades. Table fans. This is a Fanimation Urban Jet. It kind of looks like the fans from a 1950s Cadillac. Tower fans. Tower fans are slim so they can fit in tight spaces, yet they move a lot of air. Box fans. This is a beautiful treasury. Perfect example of a box fan treated well. It's got a very great sound. Listen to it on low. It's beautiful. That is so beautiful. What a lovely fan. What a lovely noise. Fucking hell. It's like a bird humming. Hassock fans. A Hassock fan. At first you think, oh, that's just a footstool. Well, actually, as you can see when I lift it up, there's a fan motor and well, I always had a rule about. I feel so sorry for his parents. I really do. You know, he's they got a kid. But basically, I collect fans. Why would you? Why would you want to collect fans? Why? Not collecting ceiling fans. This is a 1980 Hunter original. This is a Hunter model 22450. This is a portable ceiling fan. Notice how it twists like that. My first thought was. When will it stop? So you've done a lot of traveling. I've been, I've been Alright guys, this next um, person is a bloke. I'll say he's probably around in his 20s or 30s. He likes to date older women. Yep. He likes to date older women for some reason. Which I think I find is a bit creepy, but I suppose each to their own. Around, um... Would you go with like someone like me? Because I'm old enough to be your mother, definitely. Sh fuck me, she's an old. She's old enough to be his mum. Maybe yeah, old enough to be your grandmother. You're depending. Pretty, you're pretty enough to take home, though. <laughs> oh well, thank you. <laughs> oh my guys, what the hell is coming to? What is well coming to? After dinner, Karen agrees to go back to Cole's place. What the actual dog shit? Let's dance. You wanna dance? Yes, yes, you're right. Come this way. Thank you. This one. The date with Karen was incredible. She was 100% my type. 
had a wonderful time with Kyle. And I've had such an amazing time. I just don't want it to end. Well, guys, that was fucked up. All right, guys, that is the, that is, that was just, every single one of us people are messed up. Um, yeah. Especially, you know, it's, you know, the one where she eats dirty nappies and the one where he dates older women. No, that woman was old enough to be his mum. <sighs> oh, oh, guys, it's, I don't, I don't have nothing against people that have, that have weird addictions. Um, it's just, you know, everyone's got to sort out their own thing that they like. But when you sort of sit down and watch it, you know, it's not for everyone. Like, beast, you know, like, eating nappies ain't for everyone. Or, uh, licking your car ain't for everyone. But, you know, everyone has their own addiction. Um, that's, that's all, I've got, that's all really I've got to say. You know, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Thank you for joining me in the D show. If we did, if you want to see more of these, um, if you want me to do more of these um, videos like this, where I react to people's strange addictions, um, please let me know. Um, sorry, but I had no webcam today. For some reason it's not working for some reason. Um, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, if you want me to do more of these um, videos like this, then please let me know down below in the, um, the comment section, and I will sure do it again if you liked it. You know, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon, guys, in the next one, guys. Peace and adios.